Welcome back our dear viewers. President Abdel Fattah Sisi met with Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli and Minister of Higher Education and Scientific Research Dr. Ayman Ashour. During the meeting, President Sisi followed up on the implementation of the state's plans to improve the quality of the university education and link it to the labor market and development necessities. To shed more light on the issue, we are very much delighted to be joined over the phone with Dr. Ashraf Haydar, former president of Al Galala University. Good morning. Doctor. Good morning. Uh, Sir uh, President Sisi pays great attention to the education sector in order to develop the country out of his belief that uh, it is important to the ability of education to enhance the youth potentials. How do you see that, uh, Doctor? Um, actually, uh, first of all, uh, thank you very much for having me with you in this uh, very distinguished uh, channel. Actually, uh, President Fattah Sisi, over the last years, uh, from the first day uh, when he um, um, started uh, governing Egypt and um, being a president for us and saving us from a lot of things over the last years, the most important um, uh, issue that he was tackling is education and development. So education was always uh, the, one of the most important steps. Uh, mm. in the uh, creation and revolution of Egypt over the coming years. Mm. And accordingly, a lot of major mega projects was developed. Uh, one of them is the technological universities, which is actually extremely important. And this is the way we will be able to link the um, edu high educational uh, system with the industry and the start of innovation and entrepreneurship as well as the use of new technologies like artificial intelligence, big data analysis, as well as um, other uh, new technologies that will be emerging in the, in the coming future, uh, like the uh, Internet of Things, uh, mm -hmm. uh, 3D printing, as well as uh, interacting and integrating all this with uh, the um, uh, activities that's ongoing in higher education. So uh, I do believe uh, that this step uh, that uh, already um, uh, was uh, a strategic goal uh, for the Ministry of Higher Education over the last year. Now mm -hmm. we are starting to uh, get the results uh, of this great achievement. Indeed, sir. Sir, uh, the President also reviewed the government's program in order to accommodate uh, the increase in the number of students at universities as well as incoming international students. Uh, can you please elaborate for us on the state's plan to accommodate with these numbers of uh, students? Uh, actually, as I just mentioned, mm. uh, the, the plan was to expand and increase the number of universities. Now, in every governorate, in Egypt, we have, uh, of course, the public university, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, uh, very essential. And uh, uh, actually, there's a lot of development that's going on in these public universities, like Cairo University, Ancient University, Alexandria. All governments of Egypt is having a very well-established state-of-art mm -hmm. university. The expansions that's ongoing and happened mm -hmm. already over um, uh, the development in the uh, labs, the computer labs, the the use of virtual reality, artificial intelligence, smart mm. boards, and the improvement in the curriculum that is uh, implemented and changing from the mm. uh, discipline-based to the program-based systems is uh, an essential component. Moreover, the uh, strategy um, expanded to have, um, uh, over the last years actually, uh, to have different types of universities uh, in expanding in the private universities, uh, the number of private universities significantly increased. Uh, yeah. Even in Upper Egypt now, we see uh, private universities established, branches of universities uh, that are already existing is having branches in uh, Upper Egypt, as well as, of course, the branch campuses, uh, which is a very important mm -hmm. uh, type of universities uh, that is having um, a, a European uh, uh, or um, a international university having its curriculum implemented. And this is uh, occurring in the new capital, uh, mm. new administrative capital. And I think um, uh, that is very important. Moreover, uh, mm. we have the, the, the expansion of the technological universities. Now I can say that the spectrum, the spectrum of higher education institutions is about to be completed. The uh, execution and the implementation and the start of having this whole type of universities integrated together 
is essential, and that's mm. what the Minister of Higher Education is uh, doing together with his colleagues from other yes. ministries, the Ministry of Planning, mm. uh, the Ministry of uh, uh, Education itself, uh, which is very important, as well as the Ministry of Health and Population. Yes. The, the integration and collaboration between ministries is extremely important, and that is clear. And mm. uh, uh, we are going to see uh, uh, different types of universities like what we saw already we have four um, uh, national universities and uh, uh, we uh, the galala university the uh, king salman university the uh, new mansoor university as well as the al alamein international university mm. as well as other uh, group of uh, national universities uh, affiliated to the government universities which is the public university the, the number of universities expanded. Mm. Exactly give this to your question. This means that we are going to double, at least double or triple, the mm. number of students in higher education, and that's having the infrastructure requirement uh, for this, mm. uh, as well as um, accommodating international students. Of course, in, in, in this time of uh, uh, history, uh, mm. having a greater number of international students not only increases the uh, economy and improves the economy, but also uh, it clarifies mm. the, uh, uh, the uh, Egyptian uh, higher education for international uh, uh, countries, international uh, institutions over the world. Mm. And this is very clear uh, by the president and by the ministers who decided that the, every single university should have a collaboration whether private university, whether national university, even public universities, with other international universities from all over the world in order to accelerate and mm. be uh, among, uh, over the platform of higher education globally. Indeed. So also the president was briefed on the development in activating the Alliance and Development Initiative, which aims to strengthen the alliances between the universities and the industry bodies. What's your take on that, uh, doctor? Actually, the, uh, the Minister of uh, uh, Higher Education and Scientific Research, Professor Dr. Uh, Ayman Ashour, uh, mm. last year, uh, actually, there was um, a, a conference uh, um, uh, that uh, presented the uh, interdisciplinarity and the vision and the strategic goal of the um, higher education institutions, specifically the universities. And uh, one of the most important issues is interdisciplinarity. That's linking the specialities and the mm. domains with each other between universities, between different colleges in a, or schools or faculties within the same university and within the um, other universities uh, area. And in order to accomplish this, mm. the, it was very clear for him that we should uh, accomplish yes. the uh, sustainable development goals which is uh, by the United Nations, uh, uh, the Sustainable Development Goals um, addresses 17 goals, which is actually uh, mm. having covering of all uh, activities that could happen for uh, globally, mm. uh, from energy to healthcare to equal, equal opportunity uh, to economy, finance, everything, everything. The, mm. the, the most important is the yeah. goal 17, which is partnership. And here I would like to highlight a, a, a division of um, the distinguished uh, minister uh, mm. for this point, where he said that it is extremely important to link with the industry. Linking with industry solves a lot of problems, especially for these new mm. technological universities that yes. is uh, developed, because uh, what is the value of this? In mm. industry, we need to improve our economy to have very strong industry. There is no strong industry without research and development Indeed. and innovation and, develop and, 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 and having new products. Indeed, uh, Dr. Ashraf, uh, Dr. Ashraf Haidar, former president of Galala University, thank you so much, sir, for your precious input. Always a pleasure to have you with us, our dear viewers. With that, we come to the end of this edition of The Breakfast Show, coming to you live here from our studios on Magic International. You are in the company of myself, Maestro Rabia. Till tomorrow with another crew, it's good.